hello everyone welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm gonna be talking about my new little kitten as you can see my little naked baby um for those who don't know if you're new to my channel i've been talking about getting a sphinx cat for a while so i bought her two days ago she's like with my hair look into the camera go on open your eyes and show them how beautiful your eyes are She's such a rebel. <laughs> Whenever I want her to show something, she just doesn't show it. Like the moment she met me, she didn't fear me at all. She just let me hold her. So while I was talking to the lady that I bought her from, she just went downstairs, had a glass of water, and then she came back up and she tapped my leg to say, pick me up again. It was so sweet. <laughs> like even though I chose her and I wanted a girl, I feel like she did choose me still. It's like she wanted me, so it's really cute. I think she likes her home. She's been exploring a lot. She's living the life of Riley right now. She's got all of my attention because we have to stay in because of this coronavirus. Yeah, she's three months old and I just thought to myself, like, with all this coronavirus happening, I just thought, you know what? We just need to do what we want to do. And I've wanted to get a little Sphinx kitten for like a year now. Now is the time. So yeah, I went to collect her two days ago. She's just eating, so she's like running around. She's really hyper right now. I'm gonna try and do the video with her because obviously you want to see her. When I got her in the car, she was literally on the back of my head, just laying there. She was like sniffing me and stuff. So she's been so, so sweet. And then we went to my friend's house and she just was chilled. She even drank some of my friend's cat's water. She's so cute, like honestly. And when she came to my house as well, she just sat on the sofa and fell asleep. Then she did stay in my bed. My old cats, I never ever allowed to stay in my bed because I just think, oh, animals should be outside. But because she's only a kitten, I felt a bit bad. But last night, she was a bit naughty and she weed in my bed. She is litter trained though. So she slept outside. But then in the morning she came in and she was like sniffing my neck and giving me loads of cuddles. She is really affectionate. Um, and she's already had a bath. I'll insert a little clip of her having a bath. She's so funny. Whenever I put the telly on as well, she literally sits and watches it and she's so fascinated. And I keep putting on the cat's TV and she's like really... Um, <laughs> she she loves it like especially the fishes one she really likes that i've only had her two days and she's like really gravitated to me and she's so cute honestly in real life she's tiny and whenever i take pictures of her videos i don't think it does her justice these cats are really needy and whenever i leave a room like she cries and when she wants something she's hungry first day these go to the toilet she lets me know um and she's always by my side like she's looking at me now she's just like <laughs> because it's sunny outside she wants to sit on the ledge um so like bringing her for the video <laughs> but i'm sure she's gonna be in many videos and i'm gonna do a video for you if you'd like a specific video about her please let me know because i don't know what you'd like to see obviously you know my channel isn't about cats but I feel like with everything going on in the world right now, we need to cheer ourselves up. But she's so, so sweet. She keeps doing this thing where she licks my neck. I've seen other Sphinx cat videos where the Sphinx is doing that as well. It must be a thing that they do. Before I even thought about getting a Sphinx, I used to think they were so ugly. <laughs> but now I think they're so beautiful. And if you saw her in person, honestly, she's so cute. And even my friend who came with me to pick her up, she was like, oh my God, they're so cute. There was like a litter of them and yeah, if you want me to do a video on how I sourced her and everything like that and how much I paid for her, I will do that. I wanted it to be a bit of a catch-up video as well for you because I have been like really, what's the word, distracted with this coronavirus. You may know that I suffer with anxiety and yeah, it's been really taken over my mind. I've had like four hours sleep per night. I've hardly slept. Um, I think last night is the first time I slept properly. I hope everyone is well and not getting stressed about this because it is quite a stressful situation and when you've got anxiety it's all about like no control and we don't have control over this <laughs> she is obsessed with chewing on my hair <laughs> i don't know why maybe because she has no hair so she's like i want some of your hair i feel like i'm in a black mirror episode <laughs> i feel like I'm in, i feel like i'm in a black mirror episode because like it's crazy what's going on in the world right now it really is and <laughs> uh, sorry i can't concentrate but 
and this is literally what it's been like i've been trying to do my work from home and she's just always doing stuff and keeping me entertained but yeah i'd love to know what you think about this coronavirus and how you're coping with it i was even thinking about doing some videos on cooking with the things that i have like the tin food and stuff and also like knowing what fresh food to get because a lot of fresh food actually lasts a long long time so if you'd like me to do a video like that let me know um but as i said i've been quite stressed i've got some vulnerable people in my family as well um with respiratory problems and old and other vulnerable conditions so i've been in contact with my family a lot making sure they're alive and they're okay and they're not going out especially my nan like i've told her not to go to church because there's all old people in our church and it's like and if you do holy communion that's really dangerous but i know she believes god will save her but i think in this situation you just need to be as careful as possible you really do and i'm staying in now for a long time i think i'm gonna go out tomorrow <laughs> i'm gonna go out tomorrow just to get some like fruit and also <laughs> and also some like nuts and raisins so yeah that's what i'm going out to get tomorrow and that's it and then i'm staying in for a long time i've got enough cat food for her i went out yesterday i left the cat food in my friend's car and she lives quite far from me and i was like god's sake and i left a blanket too so yeah I was, i've just been so tired this video as well probably hasn't made much sense but i just wanted to show you her one thing i'm working on myself is to get into a better mental state with all this coronavirus i just want to feel good i'm gonna try and do some meditation and like listen to nice sounds and get my crystals get my essential oils and really relax and i feel like as well with the coronavirus i feel like the news and social media is making it more stressful and i know it's good to be informed and to know what's going on but also being stressed makes you have a lower immune system so you need to try and keep a level head and not panic and i feel like in the shops as well if everyone just got what they would get no one would be going without so to be honest i'm not surprised i've always said to you that people are greedy in this world and they're all for themselves especially now it's interesting as well listening to older people who went through world war ii and they said even when they were rationing people didn't behave like this so what does that say about our society now and how people are now? It's not good. I'm thinking of doing a vlog while I'm like at home all the time. She's falling asleep. Um, yeah, and, and show you what I usually do, what I'm making while this is all going on and like what I do with her because she is very, like now she's chilled. <laughs> But normally she's running around like an absolute lunatic. Especially at night time, she's crazy. Um, but it's cute. <laughs> she's so up and down. I might do a whole video dedicated to her because she's so sweet. But I really hope you enjoyed this video. This was just a short one. There's going to be many more videos, especially while I'm indoors. So I really hope you enjoy them. Please subscribe as well. So then you know what's going on with me and my little new baby <laughs> um so yeah i really hope you enjoy this video and please like and subscribe and i'll see you in my next video